So Pete Buttigieg went to Harvard, which means he went to a school where smart people are and therefore they're not religious. But he's religious even though he's gay. So like, if there's anything we know about Pete Buttigieg is he's probably full of shit. <laughs> because if he's smart enough to, to um, get into Harvard, he's smart enough to know that his religion hates gay people, it's in there, it says that you're an abomination. It says that you should be put to death. It's very clear in Leviticus. You should be put to death. Pete Buttigieg is a politician though. But um, before he was a politician, what happened after Pete Buttigieg got out of Harvard? He joined the military. Who joins the military after you get out of Harvard? A spy. And that's the thing. Um, spies tend to want to be in the military. And so um, when we talk about Pete Buttigieg and we're going, okay, how is this guy an agent of a foreign power? He's white, his dad, uh, it was a professor at Notre Dame. I think, think he was from Malta. Is, is, is he an agent of a foreign power in the Malta sense? I don't know. Uh, my people never actually explained it to me. They just said, Andrew Yang's dad was a foreign spy. They never said Andrew Yang was a spy, but I think Andrew Yang's wife has the real red flags on her because um, I don't know. I don't know exactly why. Uh, and they said Pete Buttigieg is literally a, an agent of a foreign power. And it makes sense because how can you be a gay Christian that went to Harvard? Like, I'm just saying, like, it's kind of crazy that you went to Harvard and you're still a Christian. If you went to Harvard and you're still a Christian, it's like, did you not have any friends? Um, like, did you not ever have a conversation with anyone about religion? Is that why you're still a Christian? Like, um, I don't understand. But if you're a gay person who went to Harvard, it's like, and then, and then you're a gay person who went to Harvard and then you're in the military. It's like, all right, guys. But uh, yeah, so I accused him of being an agent of foreign power right away. He dropped out of the race. He was like about to w become the Democratic candidate for president and he dropped out. And then now Joe Biden apparently doesn't think he's an agent of a foreign power because he put him in a very sensitive national security position, probably because Buttigieg had security clearance before. Um, he, he doesn't care if Buttigieg has um, sensitive national security information, um, which I don't, I don't think Pete Buttigieg has passed on any sensitive information. I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I, all I'm saying is um, if you guys think that Pete Buttigieg uh, doesn't meet the MO of a spy, then you are not. It's kind of like um, thinking that Jennifer Gates' father-in-law um, doesn't meet the MO of a Muslim Brotherhood person. Like he is his 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 his. his like, if you read his biography, it's basically Muhammad Atta's biography if Muhammad Atta hadn't died. Um, you know, like he, he, Cairo University, architecture, engineering, um, same, same time. Um, but it, honestly, um, I think Pete Buttigieg probably actually meets the, the description of a foreign spy more than um, Jennifer Gates' father-in-law because you, you never actually know if that guy's a foreign spy, just like you never know if Pete Buttigieg is a foreign spy. But my people have been pretty clear. They're, they're fairly certain Pete Buttigieg was an agent of a foreign power.